Hello guys, welcome to DTWG The Prep. Welcome. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through how to use your calculator to solve fractions. Okay, we're going to convert mixed fraction to improper fractions. We're also going to convert your improper fraction to mixed fraction on our GED calculator. That's your TI-30XS. Uh, okay, that's your multi view. Okay, you can get one on uh, in Target or you can also get in, uh, on, on Amazon. Okay, you can order one on Amazon. Okay, and this is the online, um, uh, you know, simulator or emulator. Okay, and uh, it has like 90 days trial. I'll try to also get that link and drop in the video description box of this video so you could also you know download and try to use to practice because it's quite good you know how to use your calculator it's going to make you um faster okay during your test okay and um this week by god's grace i'm going to be taking you through how to do fractions with your calculator just ordinary maybe the second one will be just your number sense your addition subtraction and division with your calculator how to do percentages how to do, do your mean median mode and range how to do your order of operation pandas and several more how to do your powers your roots okay i'm also going to be releasing those videos and i'll drop them in a playlist so you have everything and you can watch them okay so uh please please also i forgot to mention please try to please support me by subscribing to this channel please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends okay family trying to prepare for the ged test okay having difficulty in their maths you can please share with your friends in your classes on your groups okay and um just please help me let this channel grow and uh, also one more thing before i go further i do one on one online tutorial so if you're interested you can contact me via my email which i'll drop in the email uh the video description box of this video and also if you if you want to join our facebook group which is over 2000 members now to receive to get support you have need information on your ged in your states or any information you need you can join that group i'm also going to leave the link everything in the video description box of this video okay so now let's get on to the video so the first um, question is convert your mixed fraction to improper fraction a lot of people have especially if you've left school long long ago so they have problems with converting their mixed fraction to improper fraction but i tell you it is it would be also good you know how to do it without the calculator okay but if the the section is in the um you know you have a fraction in a section which allows the calculator you know there are some parts of the test which allows calculator and a part that doesn't allow calculator so if it falls in the section where calculator is allowed so this is how you do it okay first thing when you um you know click on your calculator during your gd text or test always make sure you clear okay always make sure you clear before you start a new okay a new um, a new operation okay so now we are to get right um type in this fifo number three over ten so you come here you click on second function then you can see this here if you have a physical calculator you can see the green the green um no prints on each uh, button okay can only be activated by pressing the second function so i need this okay that's this big u here with a n over d that's sim that symbolizes this um, uh, mixed fraction so i'm going to press this you can see it has given me the mixed fraction so i'm going to type five all right then i press this arrow it takes me on top i punch in what three okay then i go down and I punch in what 10 1 0 can you see that I punch in 10 then from here if I want to just convert to um, proper fraction all I just need to do is press enter you can see it has converted me converted it for me 53 over 10 okay and you know a normal if you want to use it do it without the calculator it is 5 10 times 5 plus 3 10 times 5 is 50 plus 3 that's 53 over 10 okay i've done a video on this all right so so that's how you do you convert your mix to improper fraction now let's clear this let's do the second one okay so this is, says four whole number four over seven so remember second function we activate this we type four 
the arrow okay then we type for uh, punching for sorry i keep on saying type then go down punching what seven okay and press enter you can see it has converted this for you your 30 it, this is your mixed fraction to input power so this is 32 over 7 so this value here is 32 over 7 okay now the next one is improper to mixed fraction so let's clear this so we have 47 over 9 so this is um, improper so we can just use only this all right that's n over d we don't need to use the second function because the second function this green um, color only activate the green prints here okay but here we need the white print it's just on the button here so we do this it brings up this so we um, punch in 47 we take the arrow down then punch in what nine okay press enter it gives the 47 over 9 then come here since we are converting improper to mixed fraction you can see this here see this green print here this is improper to mixed fraction we come here press second function punching this button we have this it says equal um, convert this from mixed towards improper as uh, from sorry from improper to mixed then we press enter can you see that it has given us an answer as what five whole number two over nine okay i did this i think i punched it twice that's why i give um the two answers here okay so this improper to mix is what five whole number two over nine let's do the, the last one here so you can always practice you know get your whichever textbook you're using your kaplan or whatever which, whatever textbook you're using okay i forgot to mention i have there's a website with several resources that is a this is the website www.dtwgedprep i'm also going to leave the link to this website okay you have i have several resources on your sciences on your social studies explaining the concept okay each concept of um you know of in your science and also in your social studies the u.s history civics and government explaining each concept on it and just testing you with some few quiz okay then you have to go further on reading and reading several texts and passages okay so you can check that and by god's grace i'm also going to be up updating that on maths on math with several practice questions okay but with the textbook you have you can always try to use it to practice your calculator it will really help you if you know how to use your calculator okay so so let's clear this always clear before you go into another operation always clear don't forget that so we we have 103 over 6 we're converting this improper to mixed so we come here 103 okay put it down then six okay press enter then second function we are activating this screen print here this then enter can you see this so it has converted this improper fraction to mixed fraction so 103 over 6 is 17 whole number 1 over 6 okay you can see how easy that is all right I think this one we had five whole number two over nine then this is what 17 whole number one over six so let's go to the next one so we clear this we're just adding this just simple fractions we're adding this up so we do this okay so we do three your arrow eight all right then take your arrow up here then put plus all right then click on this again because another fraction then we do seven take your arrow down 12 take your arrow to the side then press what and can you see what i did and press what enter and it will give our answer as what 23 over 4 don't leave your arrow beneath always press press this arrow again to take it what up okay do you want me to repeat that let me repeat that again clear this three go down eight take your arrow to the side put in your plus sign another fraction seven 
take your arrow down 12 then take your arrow to the side and press enter that's your answer 23 over 4 all right let's do this one now clear so this is 8 or number 1 over 2 plus 3 or number 4 over 9 so this is a mixed fraction so we do second function mixed fraction 8 arrow 1 go down 2 take it to the side put your plus then second function in another uh, mixed fraction put this then 3 that's 3 then go that is up now so with punching 4 take it down punching 9 then take it to the side and press enter you can see that so we have here 215 over 18 now you remember we can convert this 215 to what this is an improper fraction we can convert to what a mixed fraction remember how to convert to a mixed fraction a fraction you press second function this it it gives the sign then press enter you can see that 11 whole numbers 17 over 18 so 215 over 18 converting to mixed fraction is 11 whole numbers 17 over 18 okay i punched this uh, quite hard that's why you have two answers here so let's go to the second one let me write the answer to this i think this was 23 over 24 uh this is seven, uh, 11 known number, 17 over 18. I think in the improper, we, get, we got 215 over 18. Okay? So, clear. Let's go to the next one. So, we have here, second function, this. So, this is what? 5 whole number, 5 over 7 clear let's delete this that's a mistake let's go down then seven take your arrow to the side subtracting minus second function another mixed fraction then four or number take the arrow the arrow goes up four take it down over five then take your arrow to the side and enter we have here 32 over 35 so this is uh the answer to this 32 over 35 converting to a okay we can convert this to this is a proper fraction Be, why is it a proper fraction because your denominator is greater than your numerator okay it's an improper fraction here because your denominator is less than your numerator okay so we've done this let's go to the next one let's be fast so we clear okay this is still mixed fraction we do second function this we do two that's two whole number one over oh we made a mistake delete let's delete this going back again second function we clear clear second function this two that's one you know it's 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 online so the buttons are quite they may be sens sens sensitive okay put the arrow up multiplied multiplication sign second function this we have three you know we're looking at this three arrow to this to the side two then arrow down five then arrow to the side and we press enter so this times this is what 119 over 15 and 119 over 15 is an improper fraction we can convert this to a mix what number so we do second function this and enter it gives us what 17 old number 14 over 15 okay so this is what uh, 119 over 15 equal to 17 or number 14 over 15 okay so let's clear let's do this one here so second function this 
26. Take the arrow to the side. 2. Downwards. 3. To the side. And put our division sign. Division. Second function. Another mixed fraction. 3. Arrow to the side. 1. Divided by 3. Take your arrow to the side and press enter. You can see that eight, eight whole number. Okay, this gave us an, uh, a whole number. All right, so this is eight. Now let us um, learn how to convert uh, a fraction to decimal. So we do clear. So fraction to decimal, we have, we don't need second function, we just press this. We have three, then go down, eight. Just press enter. It gives you three over eight. Then press this arrow here. And it takes gives you what your decimal three over eight is what 0 0.375. Are you seeing what we, what I did? Should I repeat it again? Claire, press this your fraction sign. You don't need a second function because it's a is a you know. This is an improper fraction. Okay, it's not mixed. So we have three. Put the arrow down. Eight. Okay, we can just quickly press enter. It gives this. Then press this two, these arrows, these two arrows that uh, back each other, this, and it gives us what? 0 0.375. Okay, so we know how to do this now. That's converting a fraction to what? Decimal. So now let's convert this, okay? 0 0.35 to a fraction. So we, we punch in 0 0.35, okay? We press enter. And you use the same um, uh, button here, these two arrows here, press this, and it has converted it to what? A fraction. So we have 0 0.35 is what? 7 over 20. So thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video, okay? So the next video, we're going to be trying percentages using a calculator, solving several percentages, uh, question, and uh, powers and roots. Uh, pandas and even I'm also going to try to do some equations we're going to take median uh, mean median mode and range how to use your calculator to solve them so you know it's easy for you to do okay so it's easy for you you know when you encounter this you can use your calculator and you are fast all right so uh, thank you for staying tuned. Please don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please give your life to Christ for he is the way, he is the truth and he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead us to heaven at last. Okay, there is no other way to God but through Jesus Christ. Alright, so please give your life to him and he will definitely take care of everything. Every burden that you've been carrying, sickness or disease or troubles in your relationship, just hand it over to him and he would deliver you and take care of everything and take off that your body and that yoke, that stress is going to take it from you. Alright, and give you rest. That is its rest and his peace that passed all understanding. That's what he's going to give to you. So come to Jesus today and give your life to Christ. So thank you. Thank you uh, from DTW GED Prep. Okay, you are destined to win in your fourth commenters. Take care and see you in our next video.